What's up everyone, Wolf G here. Just gonna give you guys some tips on how to fix dev errors and anytime you're trying to get into Warzone um, and it's just stopping in the login screen. I'm gonna kind of walk you through, or at least explain to you what I had to do, um, the stuff I tried first, and then ultimately what the fix was. So I went through every Reddit post in the last two years of this game being out looking for what the fix was. A lot of people bounce back and forth with different things, uninstalling, scanning, repairing, doing all this other stuff in your bios and all that. Was, I, I kind of figured it wasn't bios, but I tried it. It didn't work. So every time I logged into Warzone, I'm getting these errors that you see on the screen here. Multiple different ones. Some of them are different than the ones that I'm seeing here, but I could never get past the um, login screen. Essentially, it would just time out, stop, freeze, and then I'd have to... Control alt delete to get out. So I scanned and repaired probably 15 different times throughout the whole process. Never fixed the issue, deleted all the files, not the files, all of the yeah, files out of the actual modern warfare folder. Did not fix the issue. Scanned and repaired after that, still didn't fix. Did a clean PC boost or a reboot didn't work either. Um, then I started looking at my drivers. My GeForce experience told me I had the most recent driver. What I ended up doing, so let me minimize these for you. Um, what you want to do is you pull pull up your GeForce experience here. Okay, you can see I updated this on the 20th. Right, so when it was released, I've updated it since then. What I had to do is click here, these dots right here, and hit reinstall driver. I just let it reinstall. As soon as I did that, the game fired right up, no major issues. I had to go back and undo pretty much everything I did to fix it, um, reset all my settings. Basically, you had to fix all that. But this is what the fix was for me. Go into your drivers and your GeForce experience, hitting the dots and reinstalling the driver. I really hope this helps some folks out so you do not spend three hours like I just did. But essentially, it felt like rebuilding my computer. Hopefully, this helps somebody out somewhere. And if it does, let me know. If it doesn't work, there's a hundred different Reddit posts with other stuff. But I'm hoping that I didn't ever see anybody mention this in a Reddit post or on YouTube or anything like that. So please give this a shot. Let me know if it works. Thanks for checking out the video.